the Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider, six and a half inch barrel, 22 long rifle convertible. We're going to shoot it. We're going to talk more about it and uh, find out if this is, um, other than being a fun gun, hopefully, if this is going to be worth the uh, the price. Stick around. <laughs> Right, Heritage Manufacturing uh, was out of Miami, Florida, I believe uh, maybe 10 years or so ago. It was actually bought out by Taurus. Uh, once upon a time they made uh, some centerfire guns too. Now they're, uh, as far as I know, they're only making rimfire guns. So thanks for joining me today while we take a look at the Heritage Rough Rider. Another gun on loan to me by my friend Brent Fisher. He's loaned me several guns in the past. So the, the Rough Rider, again, this is six and a half inch barrel. Now they make, uh, I think, uh, one and five eighths inch barrel bar keeps all the way up to 16 inch barrel uh, revolvers plus um, some couple of carbines that are still revolvers and uh, all single action and now they're all either 22 long rifle or convertible as this one is to 22 Winchester Magnum and uh, this does have the convertible cylinder in it and we're going to talk more about that here in just a few minutes single action but one thing that's unique about the single action heritage is that it actually has a safety and there were a couple of times that I brought it up, tried to work the trigger, and could not work the trigger because the safety was in the way. Now that just blocks the, the firing pin. It's got a frame-mounted firing pin. Safety keeps that firing pin from going forward and hitting the, the rim of the cartridge. Typical single action, loads through a side gate. Now this is a six shot. They make these also in nine shot. This is an older model, um, but so far pretty nice. Now it's just got a really simple trough rear sight. Don't really care for it. Uh, Brent painted the, the front sight, just a plain old blade, painted it kind of a lime green yellow, which may work under some conditions. Uh, we're gonna see how it works here. We're gonna try it out first. Uh, I'm gonna just skip the, the 12 yards. I'm gonna go straight to 25. I've got a couple of uh, targets down there that I just got from Atlas Target. We're gonna do a separate video on that. They are animal type targets. I've got a raccoon, a woodchuck, and a crow. There's a reason for having those targets, but we're going to talk about those in a separate video. Uh, I haven't done the video yet, so I can't really post a link to it up here. But watch for our video on the Atlas Manufacturing uh, Animal Targets. So, um, let's put some safety equipment on and load this up with six rounds of Aguila Super Extra 22 long rifle and just see how it works on another uh, raccoon and the woodchuck down there 25 yards. When I was sighting in this uh, Heritage Rough Rider 6.5 inch barrel, I was uh, sighting it on a bullseye target at 15 yards. I did that. Uh, Actually, I think I did that on camera. We'll probably roll that in here somewhere. Anyway, it was shooting a little uh, low with the 22 long rifle. So again, same ammunition, the Aguila Super Extra. We're going to shoot a 25 now instead of 15. So I got to aim just a little high. We're going to do the woodchuck and the um, uh, and the raccoon there at 25 yards, and let's just see where it hits. All right, let's see if this uh, camera will pick me up and the targets. I'm not sure it will, but I got a target camera going. So we're going to go for the raccoon on the right first. And again, I didn't take the safety off. Try it again. Safety is off this time. All right, we got the raccoon once, twice. A little hard cocking on that uh, third shot, and it looks like they're hitting just a little low. All right, they're all hitting fairly low on the raccoons. So that means I got to aim a little higher on the woodchuck, just to the left of the raccoon. Ooh, I like the way that one sounds. And I missed on the last shot. Shame on me, that was uh, strictly me. All right, uh, again, this is an earlier earlier model, but I understand now that they're making these uh, Heritage in, uh, in black finish, as well as a simulated color case hardened finish. Uh, these things retail for uh, around 200 give or take. You can uh, often find them for less than that in the gun stores, even the convertible models here. Uh, you can probably find for around that. Uh, again, I'm not trying to sell or offer for sale or encourage the purchase of any of these, just merely demonstrating and providing information. All right, I'm going to load up six more and we're just going to see if I can hit anything at 50 yards. Case extraction is typical uh, old single action. Pull the hammer back to half cock. I'm going to put the safety back on. Just got to remember to take it off. Open the loading gate. It's at half cock and push on the extractor. Lo and behold, cartridge case comes out. Turn it one click. Next one comes out until you get six or nine rounds out. All six are out. We're going to load them up again and we're going to try 50 yards.
All right, six Aguila Super Extras in here. Uh, I have no idea how much drop I'm going to get at 50 yards, but let's go with the silver gong on the left. Got that. Let's go for the 16 inch high right, white with a green center. All right, got it. How about the 12 inch below that, white with a red center? No. Try it again. a little higher yet. I have trouble cocking this thing because I think some of the rounds are starting to bind up a little. Nope. One more time on the 12. There we go. I think you got one round left if I counted right. There's a black center on a white plate 10 inch high, high uh, well centered there in the group. Let's see if I can get that. And the answer is, did I get six rounds already? Right, I noticed that these are getting a little hard to, to get out of here. And I'm having the same issue that I had with the Magnum cylinder. And then I'm getting a slight, uh, you can't really see it in there I don't think, but there is a slight bulge to the cartridge case head. So I don't know if that's just the uh, shape of the frame that's Allowing these to flow back into it just a little bit. I don't know. All right, I want to try a couple more times there at 50 and just see if I can do anything on that 10 inch. I'm not going to hold out a lot of hope for it. I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I may even have to fast forward this if I keep missing. Twenty-two out of a six and a half inch barrel should be a decent 50 yard gun. All right, six rounds. Safety off, 10 inch again. Black center and a white plate. All right, first shot. I had to aim way over at about 11 o'clock. Let's try the eight below it, white with a red center. All right, can I do a six? Again, I'm aiming 11 o'clock off the plate. Not going to happen with the six inch. Safety back on. All right, Heritage Rough Rider, six and a half inch barrel. Again, they make them one and five eighths on a barkeep. Uh, normally four and a half, uh, six and a half, and uh, I think they they also make. Well, like I say, they also make a sixteen, and they might make something in between on that. Um, interesting little gun. Uh, having, I won't say some issues with it. We did have some, some issues though with the, the 22 Magnum, but again, I think we're getting the same issue a little bit here. Let's see if I can pop one of these out. There is, if you can see it in there or not, just a little bit of a bulge on the cartridge case head. Again, this gun is now on safe, half cocked, gate open, it's safe. Uh, so I think that's probably why some of these are hanging up a little. Uh, how is this compared to the uh, the Ruger single six gonna try one of those here in the not too distant future I got one sitting down in the safe and I've also got the Ruger Wrangler which is going to be priced and made somewhat comparable to the Heritage Rough Rider um, so there it is it um, is okay for the price certainly it's a good plinking gun and again I want to thank my friend Brent Fisher for loaning me this Heritage Rough Rider to try out here thanks for stopping in and joining us so with this Heritage Rough Rider, we did have some problems uh, with hangups, uh, some with the Aguila 22 Super Extra, 22 Long Rifle, but particularly with the uh, Aguila uh, Magnums in there, where they, uh, the rounds were actually, uh, looks like they were going into a little, just a slight recess around the firing pin uh, in the, uh, the frame, and it was hanging up, I wasn't able to turn the cylinder. Uh, I've got some different ammo out here, we're going to give it a try just to see how, if we have the same problem with other ammo or um, if, uh, if that was specific to the Aguila. All right, some uh, Norma TAC-22 in here. And by the way, it doesn't look like I have my ear protection on. I am gonna grab my eyes here in just a second, but my wife stopped by and asked me where my ear protection was, and it's right here. It's the uh, Sound Gear uh, Platinum Custom Molded to the Ears. So it's what I uh, use when I shoot shotgun, and it's also what I use when I shoot 22s sometimes. 
All right, Heritage Rough Rider, we're just going to keep it up close here to the, uh, the plates and probably just stick to the, the steel silhouette there just to see if these work. I've got to remember to take the safety off on this single action gun. And. All right, all six of those worked. It rotated nice and freely. All right, let's put in six CCI Velocitors. And let's just see how those work. So far, uh, the cylinder was turning very nicely after uh, putting in the Normas. And we'll see how the CCIs work. Again, these are 40 grain Velocitors, and these are rated for uh, 1,435 feet per second. But again, that's going to be out of a rifle, not out of a handgun. We're going to lose a couple hundred feet per second out of this uh, six and a half inch, is that a six and a half inch barrel? I believe it is. All right. Let's see how these work. CCI Velocitors. A little more oomph. All right. And cylinder still rolls freely. Let's swap cylinders and see how it does with Magnum. All right, got the Magnum cylinder in here now. We're going to try uh, again, start out with Norma. This is the 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire, 40 grain, 1885 feet per second. Got six of them loaded up in this Heritage Rough Rider. Again, we're going to stick to the silver silhouette here at 12 yards. Lots more noise. And it ran those with no problem. Cylinder does rotate nicely and actually when I look at these I can see just a little bit of a bulge still I don't know if you can see that get my hand up behind it here I don't know if you can see that or not there's not much to it less bulge than we had on the Aguila all right let's go to some uh, CCI uh, maxi mag and these are uh, 30 grain at 2200 feet per second out of a rifle uh, I'm sure they're not doing anywhere near that out of this uh, Single action revolver here. All right, maxi mag, six of them in here. Let's just see how that works and see if it'll continue to rotate through the cylinder. They are louder. And yes, they do. And pull this hammer back to half cock here to spin the cylinder to unload it and And it does unload. And again, if, if you look real close, see just a little bit of a bulge, but less bulge than what we had on the Aguila. So uh, the hangups we had before are going to be ammo related. And uh, you got the right ammo in there. Uh, apparently, maybe just the brass is softer on the Aguila. I don't know, but it's working fine with these. So Heritage Rough Rider, um, I'll give it a passing grade.